Hi friends, happy Monday. We are on a new letter this week. We're on letter F. Hey, friend starts with F, one of my favorite words. Um, we're going to be talking a lot about fall this week because it's what's happening outside. It's the season that we're in right now. Some people call the season of fall autumn, um, but most people call it fall. And one of the reasons I think is because the leaves are doing that right now in the fall. The leaves are changing colors and starting to fall down. And um, the book I have today is a nonfiction book about that, why that happens to the trees and the leaves in the fall. So the name of the book is called Colorful Leaves. Are those colorful? Have you started to notice colorful leaves in your neighborhood? Or around town leaf shapes can you guess which of these pictures show leaves see all of these you think those are leaves all of these pictures show leaves leaves come in many shapes and sizes a leaf is a part of a plant and a tree is a plant different kinds of leaf trees have different leaves so see this big tree there? That's an oak tree. And guess what? An oak tree can have more than one million leaves. Can you believe that? See this funny looking leaf right here? It kind of looks like a fan to me. What do you think? That's called a ginkgo leaf. This one's called a linden. This one's called a poplar. This one here is called a white willow sweet gum, sassafras. That's one of my favorite ones to say. I think the sassafras one kind of looks like a, a hand like this. If you have it like this, what do you think? And this is a holly leaf. Some trees have leaves that look like stars. Some have leaves that look like feathers or leaves that look like hearts. And so this says, what do leaves do? Did you know that leaves have a job for the tree? They have an important job. They make the food for the tree. Trees need the food to grow, just like you need food to grow, right? And this says, leaves can also be good food for bugs. When leaves use sunlight to turn water and air into food, that's a really big word there called photosynthesis. Can you say that? Photosynthesis. They use that energy from the sun to turn water and air into food. Tiny holes in the leaves let in the air so it can make the food. Leaves get the water that they need from the soil. Rain falls on the ground and the tree's roots soak up the water then little tubes inside the tree carry the water to the leaves. These little tubes also carry the food that the leaves make to all parts of the tree. Summer days are long and bright and there's plenty of sun to help the leaves make their food. When fall comes, that's what it is right now, right? The weather changes and the leaves change too. They turn red, yellow, and orange, and they start to fall off the tree. The leaf's green chlorophyll slowly goes away and a new color shows up. In the winter, buds cover the tree branches. They hold tiny folded leaves inside of them. In the winter, it's time for a tree to rest. The tree doesn't need much food now, so it doesn't miss its leaves that have fallen off. That's called dormancy when a tree rests in the winter time. When spring comes, the tree will need more food so it can grow again. How will it get, it food? get its food? It will grow lots and lots of new leaves to make its food. The end. Did you learn something about trees? Well, I know it might be kind of rainy outside, cold. Today's activity in your packet was for you to go out and collect fall leaves 
and I wanted you to find one leaf for each person in your family. So if you have three people in your family, you would find three leaves. I have six people in my family, I would find six leaves. And I'd glue them on a piece of paper and turn them into leaf people. And I would have a fall family. And you can add details with crayons or markers like arms and legs and wiggle eyes and have fun making your fall family. Bye.